Gemini's welcome on December heart spread read this reads the one you're thinking of the one that's on your mind you could say the one that's in your heart you want to be a little corny like me <laughs> ethereal visions illuminated tarot deck oh, I'm working with today just to let you know and I did pre-shuffle I'm gonna try to keep these a little bit short because I know I'm long way to start with so um, here we are this uh, big read for December a lot going on um, Gemini, uh, the biggest thing for you is the north node at one degree, and I'm sure, hopefully, and if you haven't, like, just uh, Google that or YouTube it, whatever, however, you, it's really worth maybe a read for, especially Gemini's and Sag, but, you know, that's uh, loving yourself, and um, it's just getting ready to switch into Taurus now, uh, coming up as we go through um, Sag season. Um... So, you know, it could be uh, two, uh, for me, I'm a sad, so I've got the opposite situation, you know, the south node, things finishing up, things ending, things being reviewed. But for you, it should be a major 20-year uh, or so cycle for you of uh, building up into something, you know, that uh, has to do with uh, probably your higher good. I often see the north node, too, in terms of looking at it in astrology. It often will correlate to stuff going on in the in the ascendant, you know, kind of they're connected. A lot of times we're in the ascendant, we kind of grow into that. I think. Um, let's see here. We're looking at you and your person, and it's like the first house, seventh house in astrology. So, this is your reading. You're in this nine of swords energy coming into this. Um, I think this is energy still being stuck, and you gotta, let me see if you can see that, I hope it's, I hope it's clear, I can't really tell, till later, but I just want you to be able to see it, so this is, uh, you know, it's 9, it's almost 10, this is ending, it's going to be going on for a bit more, I mean, significantly, like on the 4th, you have the eclipse and the solstice, of course, on the 21st, but, um, this is, could be a time when we're really dealing with the last vestiges of emotional energy uh, around love and relationships. You know, things haunting us. You see, they're kind of like ghosts and you're awake at night, like literally like a nightmare um, energy. Um, I could see this being something just about over, and I see the Nine of Swords significantly. I always see it as dealing with the energy, so it's actually good not to just put a spin. Eight of Swords, okay, that just sucks. But Nine of Swords, my, to me, I don't know, Cancer Moon, at least you're feeling the feelings, which I think always leads to a good place, even if it's uh, really unpleasant um, right at the moment or in the near past here in terms of relationship. But certainly tough energy to go into a relationship with, which is how I read this. Now, um, the one meeting you um, is an Ace of Wands energy. Uh, I think Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus, I'd be very surprised if they didn't have some fire energy prominent. Of course, Aries, and Leo, and Sagittarius energy. Um, and I kind of have to wonder, with you being in this Nine of Swords, and the fact, you know, this Ace of Wands, it's a little bit peculiar. It's like they're offering, too, like, I see someone offering, like, some flowers or something. But it's kind of like a gesture when you send the flowers. I mean, not to... <laughs> speak badly of people that have been together a while but it's usually not something you do for at the beginning you'd send the random flowers and something like that it's some kind of gesture and it's definitely them coming to you with something and taking action towards you I don't necessarily see this as bad um, but you know I mean you're kind of in a vulnerable position you know and stuff it, you know it, it'd be hard to think that there wasn't some commiseration uh, involved now let's look at, uh, for, for you on their part, wow, the Six of Cups energy. So, the way you're feeling to, towards them, I don't necessarily read this as a, oh, they're soulmates or anything, not yet. Um, but I see that in astrology, you know, so if you're into sinistry and you're serious, let me know. I do uh, love to do sinistry. But this is just feeling really good about when you're with the person feeling really emotionally connected, and it feels like uh, safe, and it could be like moon on the AC, 
moon on Pluto can weirdly feel like this, you know, like you just kind of, um, it, particularly if you have other, you know, good aspects going on with Pluto in your composite or synastry, um, just really deeply connected to a person emotionally. Um, so this means that the way you're feeling about this particular person goes way beyond the sex. And I mean, this could be somebody coming in, popping in, you know, right out of the chute too. Could be that energy. Um, and, um, but, you know, this is not exactly the response of someone that just had a good time. You really felt something with this person strongly. Um, and, you know, could imply that you felt like a sudden wrecking. You know what, maybe you're, I'm not saying you're a whore. <laughs> I'm not either, but sometimes I do on the first time if it seems right. But maybe they just hit you just right with this ace of wands and you pop like a balloon, <laughs> you know. Uh, and then they kind of open you up and you're feeling emotional to them. Now it's very interesting that this is wands here. So they come in with the ace of wands. And now the way they're feeling towards you here, Gemini, is the nine of wands. Um, that's not defensive. When you put put it together, you get the Ten of Wands. Um, I, you know, I, God, I hate to go this way, but it's just, this is like an affair. You know, I say I hate to go this way because I want to be like Jerry Springer, but shit happens, you know, if, or adults. And, um, if it does, it does. There's all kinds of things there, but... You know, you may have been at that point the single one, and they were the person, because this equals 10. And, you know, I think by them getting involved with you, what this nine of wands really means, is sort of like juggling, you know, like, you know, yeah, oh, well, yeah, I could spend the weekend with you, but I, have to, I can't really be there till Friday really late, and I have to leave Sunday at one because my kid's recital or something, like literally like that. Um, and it equals 10 and already I get the feeling I'm gonna put the rest of it here but I get the feeling here already uh, probably this person it will this activity will definitely put pressure on them um, to end a relationship it does show me too nine that they're very active with you um, they're if they're telling you yeah I want a divorce I want to uh, you know they're probably telling you the truth uh, because they're really given a lot of energy but you, I think another thing to keep in mind, if you want a Six of Cups energy, I think it's fantastic. I think that's fantastic. This is the position of how do we feel about our person. Now, uh, the Nine of Wands there, it's not fantastic, but they aren't looking at you. It's like, it's literally saying to you, it's like, I, I really kind of don't have it to give to you just right now, but I'm going to jump back in the game because I got one more wand, maybe this Ace of Wands that I can play. And I've learned a lot, getting the shit beat out of me nine times. And I'm going to get back in the game. And I'm looking at you to get back in the game with. So uh, I would say, insofar as is possible, fire sign. I'm not saying yet that they will get back together. But I think they definitely intend to. And Sag is the king of this. You know, we, if we did everything we intended to, we would be perfect. <laughs> Queen of Swords, the overall energy, guys. I tell you, uh, I'd give this some light meaning here. I think it speaks to this Nine of Swords here. I think that's where you're going to end up. Maybe you are the Queen of Swords. Um, you know, it is, uh, could be Gemini, could be you showing up in your own reading. It's kind of like that energy. Right now, you're not yourself. I'm not myself. This is yourself. Strong. You know, here she's thoughtful, patient, thinking about something. Here, you know, up late at night with a nightmare. Very different energy, very vulnerable, very not vulnerable. Um, let's see what we have here. This is advice from Spirit now for you towards this person. And now as advice from Spirit, I got to think this is saying, you know, you are the Empress. You know, you are enough. You are everything. And boy, coming under the Six of Cups, if there is a cross watcher out there, jump ship, I don't know say other than that, I had to go there, <laughs> because you got yourself an empress here, and this is what uh, Spirit is advising, but I think, Jim and I, like, you're, you're really, it's not really advice, it's kind of saying this is what you are, where you're at, and maybe the advice is just kind of remind you, you are the empress here, you are not the nine of swords, you are not even just 
the Queen of Swords, who looks a bit like lost in thought. Now look at how the Empress is engaging you. Okay, the Empress knows who she is, what she is, male or female. You know, what's her, what she wants, she can provide, she's fearless. She's Venus energy too, you know, towards its beautiful energy and, you know, voluptuous and abundant energy, you know, um, that you have for them in the sun. You know, and I tell you, I don't know if there's a more reassuring combination. Again, I hope there's a cross watcher because... This could be just raw reassurance from the universe with the star here, your hopes and dreams and wishes, not only, but in the position of advice from spirit, it's, it's really, I have to take it as spirit's trying to tell you, this is the manifestation, cross watcher, Gemini, for your person. This is their manifestation of like the perfect soulmate and empress to the, the star is a kind of an amazing relationship because you have to relate every card to the other. But this is in the advice from spirit. Now, crucial is three advice cards. The advice here next will be the advice for the relationship as a whole. Put a little bit of energy on them. I'm a little bit excited about this one. You know, the Empress to the Star, um, nothing happens by accident. Um, this is advice from spirit. Um, you know, if, if they're manifesting their empress, then for you, the lesson is you are the empress. I mean, they manifested truly here. And I think there you could say like with the nine of wands here, it's like they're really doing everything in their power to, to make things happen. Those are their actions, you know, in some way to get this together here. Um, you could kind of say too right now that this nine of wands is looking really down at the empress here longingly i might add and you got to get the hangman showing up now this is advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole um yeah it can mean look at things from a different perspective but this is a hang up this is a time out um this is uh going to be a delay and now coming between the star and the empress i mean god gemini this it's, it's great could even be a totally predictive read you can be single, and this is predictive read. Who's coming in, this person? Um, but it, whether they're coming in the future or whether they're there now or right now, this is a December read now, the whole month here. Um, the relationship itself will be in suspended animation. Now, this could mean boyfriend, girlfriend, some kind of a relationship that's operating, but, but at a level of sort of getting to know each other and not fully investing in each other. And I kind of say each other because it's it, this is for each other. And here, I got to think it's for the good. I mean, this can also be spirit saying to you, uh, both, it's really a good idea to slow down and, you know, marinate with this energy here and the crooks of the heart spread here, the core, core energy and the outcome. <laughs> king of wands again your opposite energy you could call that sagittarius if you want it was certainly fire aries or leo either way um this may speak if you do have a person guys would you uh communicate with me you know uh, do what gemini's love to do by archetype uh and tell me what your composite chart uh, ac is and, and or the sun too is important uh, is it not a fire sign ascendant in your composite? Possibly Leo, possibly Sad, most likely. Uh, possibly it's in the fifth or the ninth house, or in Sag, or in Leo. So let me know, guys, what you think of this. Give me a like, thumbs up, share, tell a friend, tell a friend. If you can think of anywhere to share this on a social media, please do, and help me out if it resonates. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, world on the bottom of the deck. Well, there you go. That's what it's going to be like when you start a new relationship. This could end up in marriage. It's going to take some time, but it's going to be uh, romantic and sexy and fun and real with the King of Wands. He ain't playing. He's just on fire. So you guys probably light each other up, okay? So thank you guys.